Hello. Um, during the week of November 30th to December 5th, I received some visions from our Lord Jesus. And so the first one I have here, you know, come on, focus. Here we go. So I have, I saw a face of an old woman and she took a bite of some kind of food. And I could tell it's an old woman because her mouth had the little very, very old lines on it, you know, very pulled down, saggy lines. But so she took a bite of some food and she spit it out. And, and so that's where it's like, okay, the food supply is becoming bad. And, uh, and so I'll talk about that more in a little bit, but so just, bleh, you know, she just didn't like the food. And then I, after that, I heard, um, some, some words, you know, just, just in, you know, just, I just heard these words. And so I wrote down what I heard and I heard transgression will give you so much. And it's like, okay, well, that could have been the, the, you know, the sentence, you know, maybe I got the whole thing, maybe not, but that's all I remember from it. And so this is where it's like, you know, just doing something. Well, I think it'll be like only gives you so much. Um, but so anyway, if you see what the word transgression is, it is an act that goes against the law, a rule of conduct, an offense. And so that's where it's like, it's something that is against the law. When you do something against the law, that's what a transgression is. And so what does the Bible say about transgression? So we have these passages. Uh, the first letter of John, chapter 3, and three, verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law. That means goes against the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. When you sin, you're against the law, uh, the commandments of God. Okay, so that's so now we're going to go to Proverbs, and uh, all this is King James Version, chapter twenty nine, verse six. In the transgression of an evil man, there is a snare, but the righteous doth sing and rejoice. You know, whoever follows the commandments will sing and rejoice. And then you have Hebrew. Verse 2, I mean, chapter 2, verse 2. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience receiveth a recompense of reward. Okay? So, yeah, if you transgress, you know, then you're going to be given, you know, your just desserts. You know, you're going to be, you know, if you go against God, then you're going to, you know, get, get, what's, get what's coming to you. <clears throat> Uh, and then the next one, I think this next one will go again, uh, will start to talk about the woman when she didn't like the food. So here we go. I have Hosea chapter 6, verse 7. But they, like men, have transgressed the covenant. There have they dealt treacherously against me. So God is saying that there is a transgression against the government. You know, that there's. Uh, law has been broken against the gov the covenant that God has with man. You know, God made a covenant with man, and because man is not obeying God, then man is transgressing the covenant. And so there is the Hosea prophecy. And the Hosea prophecy has to do with animal deaths. You know, the old woman that did not um, have, you know, she didn't like the food, well, let's read what's going on when it comes to the animals. So if you read Hosea chapter 4, verse 1, 2, 3. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood toucheth blood. Therefore shall the land mourn. And every one that dwelleth therein shall languish, with the beasts of the fields, and with the fowls of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also, shall be taken away. You know why the woman didn't like the food she was eating? Because the animals are going away, the fish are going away, the fowls of heaven are going away, and they don't talk about it on the news anymore, but it's true. The, the food supply is coming down. And what can you do to get this back? 
Is there any way to get this back? And in chapter 6 from Hosea, it says, Come, let us return unto the Lord, for he hath torn, and he will heal us. He hath smitten, and he will bind us up. After two days will he revive us. On the third day he will raise us up, and we shall live in his sight. So if you don't want all the animals to be gone, then come back to him. Come back to Jesus. You know, so that's what, what this is about. Um, you know, when it comes to transgression, there's been a lot of bad stuff. Uh, they're saying, you know, America is Jezebel, you know, with all of the uh, people not getting married and uh, other covenants, you know, that are being broken, adultery, etc., Okay, but that's not the last of the visions of the information I received this week. So this week also, you know, I heard some other things. I heard Central and Third Street. I also heard Central and Red Paint. And I'm like, what? <laughs> but, that, but that's what I heard, so I wrote down what I heard. And so when I looked it up on Google, you know, Central and Third, Central and Red Paint, I had uh, possible locations Cincinnati, Ohio, San Francisco, California. Uh, there is a Starbucks coffee coffee company over on Central and Third Street in Louisville, Kentucky. And then there's also this uh, multi-specialty center in, in Phoenix, Arizona. And why are we given all these locations? Could it be that there's going to be transgression? There's going to be could there be another ISIS attack? You know, I wonder, why are we given a location, you know, possible lo location out there? So, um, I looked up one more, and there is, in New York, there is a New York Central Art Supply, and it's on 3rd Street, and it's in Manhattan. So, here the the two sentences were Central and 3rd Street, and Central and Red Paint, which this is an art supply place that will probably have paint. So is our Lord talking about that there can be some kind of ISIS attack, something like that coming up in, you know, in Manhattan in the future? So we don't know. So let's pray, you know, that we won't have any more attacks. And the last thing I heard was uh, we don't have the number of when we retire, which is true. Yeah, like uh, when we retire, could that mean just retiring from work? But that could, could mean death. Could, you know, we have no date of when we're going to die. We could be dead tomorrow. You know, just like the people in San Bernardino were having a party. And the next thing you know, they're dead at a Christmas party. You know, the ISIS attacked them and, and killed, killed them all. You know, so it's very sad. So you could be dead tomorrow. So we got to be with Jesus because you never know when, our, when it's going to be our day. The last thing was in December and so in December it was kind of like a visual it was I saw Nibiru hitting planet Earth uh, which is that Nibiru planet and I'll do a quick uh, demonstration in a second I saw people flinging off coming off Earth going into space and then it looked like Father God's profile and he was taking a drink of water so quick demonstration there's Earth, little teeny tiny Earth. Oh, I lost the moon. Okay, here it is. There's the moon. <laughs> okay, and here's Nibiru. You know, big Nibiru coming over. And it actually looked like this. So it hit Earth like that, and then it came off like that. So it flung off. It didn't, it didn't do this. It didn't go boing like that. It went, it went like this, and then like that. So like a little change in direction. and But when Earth was hit, it went <laughs> fling, fling. And any person that's on this thing is just going to she's going to fly off. And I have a video that I'm going to take you in a second. Um, or I'm going to put the link on. But let's do a quick uh, description here. When it comes to water, you know, our Lord God has the eternal water. You know, the living water. So if we go to the book of John, chapter 7, 
In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. And Jesus uh, Jesus says, He that believeth on me, as the scripture has said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. So, believe in Christ Jesus. He is the Messiah. Believe in him, and you shall have eternal life in heaven. And so, there's a paragraph I wrote, you know, that says that uh, if you watch this particular video at the three minute mark, that's when you'll see over by the sun, very, very close to the sun. You, you cannot see it because of the super glare, but they put a filter at the three minute mark, and then you'll be able to see that, yeah, there's some kind of planet hiding in that area with the sun. But it's not till sometime next year that you'll be able to really see it. And it's coming closer to Earth. And it's going to hit Earth. Unless we all convert. <laughs> Just pray to Jesus. Pray to Jesus. No, you know. We love you, Lord. You know. And maybe it'll be God's decision. You know, right now, it's going to do this. Right now, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hit the planet. But if you want it to, woo, if you want it to miss... Then you got to come to Jesus, you know. So this—that's something that's going to be decided on by our by our prayer, by us talking to our friends. Say, hey, we need you to love Jesus, and if you haven't come to Jesus yet, do it now. <laughs> we need everybody to come to Jesus. You know, go out, shout it from the highest mountain. You know, whatever we got to do, and get as many of our friends back to Jesus. Okay, thanks everyone, and God bless.